okay I want to show you how to combat spasms and cramps in your legs or really anywhere in your body you'll find in your wrist is made up of many little bones and running through those little bones are nerves which come out here in your hand run along up your arm now I don't know why it works but if you're having spasms in your left leg use your left hand if you're having spasms in your right leg use your right wrist hold your relax your hand like this use your thumb and if you press in here you're going to find gristle and lumps at the moment there aren't any because I'm not unwell and I've just made a previous video doing this you have to do this several times every day this isn't something you just do when you've got a spasm it's it's helpful when you've got a spasm <coughs> excuse me but if you maintain this practice every day you won't get the spasms or you'll get less amount of spasms and they won't be nearly so severe but what you need to do is is to first off hold this or get someone else to hold your wrist all around here if you study acupressure or acupuncture or the points that the Chinese especially follow but lots of people follow them so just by going like that makes causes immediate relaxation so that's just relax now even though it wasn't in specific pain it's gone gook but with MS it's more than just a cramp it's it's the symptom of an onset of a series of events in your body which wreak havoc on you so if you can stop this none of the other things happen and this is why I'm so important that I tell people about how I help myself with this so what you got to do is and sometimes this is horrific all this just comes up in all these big bumps and you just wouldn't believe it how it goes but it does and you just must gently pressure and push them down and if it's a terribly severe bout you, you know you'll be going like you're pushing an elevator floors you know it's crazy and then on the other side as well so this can rise up anywhere up to almost half an inch higher and some of these it's just the tendons in that that they're, they're not for some reason they're not staying where they're meant to stay in your wrist so you must force them back to where they're meant to be and and then they can do whatever it is they do so whilst they jump out of their place their natural place um, if they just go they just run mad All right. now when you do this you're gonna find that first your shoulders your neck and shoulders relax then you're gonna find that your your chest and your breathing will relax it'll move quite quickly down to your your uh, midriff your stomach area so if you've got stomach cramps this is good for stomach cramps it's good for nausea even it's not good for specifically for MS nausea you really that's why I take the straps or as I've said before but you'll see that when you're doing this within 10 seconds it'll start from the top of your body and run down to your legs and stop your suffering sometimes it's scary though it might not you know like you might have to keep doing this for a couple of hours but don't hurt yourself you must try and use other methods and you know like make sure you're comfortable and warm and you know other things don't just sit there going like that because you end up hurting yourself and and if even though you might be having an attack here do use your other foot because it, it usually means it's gonna MS can fly all around your body and it's horrible so I can feel this bone here it's really playing around once I do that straight away my shoulder relaxes and I don't feel that burning pain in my shoulder 
so just sit there and try and do this for yourself before you get cramps and and note what parts of your body it, it uh, affects yeah sometimes it runs up into your hand and you need to to go in and you know do other parts but basically it's these bones in the wrists I don't know why okay doesn't cost you anything you don't need anybody um, you don't need any special equipment you don't have to do a course and you can help yourself time and time and time again it's not like you can only a tablet you can only take eight out eight hours or something when you need it every five minutes <laughs> so. Be kind to yourself, though. Don't hurt yourself. So that's that.